Alright, here we are. We have sprayed the clear coat on these parts. I don't know why this light is messing with it so much. But anyways, there they are. Damn, gnats and bugs. <coughs> it turned out pretty well. Um, I got a dry spot here and there. And I gotta run right, right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm about to fall over. I gotta run right there. Uh, you may have to sand it down and try it again, but there's a little run right there. Which is, you're probably not supposed to touch it, but <coughs> I don't know what else to do. No matter what happens. This stuff is going to be a whole lot better than it was. You're really not supposed to scuff this stuff up when you get uh, ready to chrome it. It's supposed to be a nice slick finish, un untouched finish. So we're going to uh, let it dry and see what happens. This is 48 Buick Restoration. 48 Buick Special Restoration, and this is going to be a P-Chrome experience, uh, experiment. I'm pretty happy with it. I just got a couple of spots. There's a little dry spot right here, and they said something about it might alligator a little bit, but, uh, it, it might, you know, it should straighten itself out, oh. but we're going to wait and see. I'm going to put the, uh, lights on it because it's supposed to get down to like 32 degrees or something like that tonight so i'm going to put these lights on it right now and let it finish curing off as much as it can before it gets cold i don't know why this picture gets worse the more light you put on it don't make sense but anyways here they are And that really makes no sense to me that it gets worse the more light you put on it. But, I mean, the camera. Uh, this is Anthony. I had help from my brother-in-law, Jamie. And uh, my dad, Harold. So, anyways. This is the end of our taping for today. 48 Buick Special restoration with peat chrome.